Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to review with you guys the Master Q flight that I have here. All right, I never did an unboxing video for this because I had the Fallen Flight unboxing video right up above right now. And pretty much the functionality, everything is like the same. Uh, only the look is different, all right? So uh, I got it, you know, a couple months ago and I wanted to uh, just first customize it a little bit before I showed it to anybody, all right? so. What I did with it is basically add this red greebly, you know, that I saw somebody do online instead of one of the uh, retention screws for the chassis. That's pretty much what it is. And the Carpet Tech wheel here, okay? So it didn't come with it. It just has like a that screw right there on top of this metal piece. I basically matched it. Uh, if you look in the pictures from the movie, when he was like, when he just got stabbed, and it's laying like this, you see it pretty much matches that kind of cover tech. All right, and the Greebly, of course, is like way larger. Uh, not the Greebly, but the red button that he has, but you know, I dealt with it. So the way that I got the Sabre, I got it empty because I had the Fallen Flight with the uh, chassis in it and everything, all the electronics, but I ended up selling the Hilt only to a friend of mine and I kept the internal chassis. So when I got this empty, I put the internal chassis into the saber, all right? The only trick is um, it did come with all the like screws and stuff like that, even though it was empty. The only trick is this is definitely a long saber. It's way longer here, right here on the bottom, a little bit longer than the phone flight. What I basically had to do is unscrew this and this and all these other screws came apart, right? And I was able to put in the chassis and screw it back together. The only places that I ran into a problem with, okay? And you see, I kind of like made do. Um, so I'll show you. Basically this little white stopper here, it came with the full on flight and it uh, is like a spacer so that between the speaker and the pommel of the foam flight, you have no movement, right? When you're screwing in the saber, when you're using it, whatever. Now, I kept it from the foam flight. I used it here, the speaker slides in and everything. Only thing I changed is I added a couple of these little O-rings that I had laying around, like for plumbing. Uh, so there's one in there right there. I added another one okay before I did that this little stopper would like slide around in there it would rattle when the saber was on and also another thing I put a thin layer of electrical tape around the spacer in order to make sure it's a snug fit right so it goes right in and then that's it then you just screw this thing back on all right this emitter section here comes with like four holes here okay and you don't need to stick a retention screw into all of them if you don't want to i only have it in the front here and the back that's enough for the blade honestly because the blade here is you know we don't have a neopixel blade it's lighter just a regular you know it's a baselet saber so and what's cool is with these open holes here you have a little shine through it's just kind of what i like so let's try it. Also, you got some shine through there on the side. And I changed the, that will handle this as the boot sound, right? And the, uh, I believe the color change, I did not change, but the about one thing master the negotiations were short to go to sleep mode i added that so you know some stuff from uh episode one you know that's where we saw qui-gon so and then that's the blade plug that i have with it and that's about it guys uh overall this saber is very solid you know for the money uh, mm -hmm. for a bracelet saber that has eco smooth swing basically like smooth swing and <laughs> It's uh, really good for the money and I uh, really like it. Um, 
has some weight to it and it's you know easy to swing uh, for any functionality of the saber actually uh, i'm not going to go into it now but if you want to check out the review video right now for the fallen flight uh, i go into it in more detail okay and in that video actually we have the default sound fonts that come with any flight or fallen flight or master q flight whatever it is okay but i removed all those and I'm going to show you the uh, custom ones that I put on, uh, just like a few of them. They're pretty much episode one based. It's not just Qui-Gon. I kind of, you know, put some of the council in there. Uh, got Sidious, you know, things like that. So let's get right into it.
situations weren't short.